y'all hey everybody and welcome back to my channel so today we're gonna be making this super cute top which is something that i have been wanting in my wardrobe for so so long and i just really wanted to make this as as perfect as possible so i didn't end up doing a draft myself i actually found a pattern online which i used and this pattern is amazing so i'm gonna link it down below so you can find it and yeah, if y'all want to see how I made this using the pattern, keep on watching and don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you soon. Bye. Okay, so some of the audio on here is a little crusty, so I'm just going to do a voiceover for part of this video. Um, but yeah, so these patterns are from Tint of Mint on Etsy and I'll link that down below so you can check that out. And just a quick note, these are in UK sizes. So if you live in the US, you do have to convert them to your size. Um, so I'm a US size six, which is a UK size eight. And there are charts printed on all of the patterns. So awesome. Um, I did make a mock-up because I wasn't sure if the pattern was true to size. So I made a UK size 12 um, and that was not my size. So I stuck with my actual size, UK size eight, US size six. And this is the beautiful fabric that I use, which is like a shiny satin fabric. Um, so it has a little bit of stretch, but you don't have to worry about the stretch part. Just something that is shiny and satiny will do. So we have our patterns laid out. So make sure to have your patterns facing along the straight line grain. And if you don't know what that is, um, I think these are called the salvages. I don't know, but basically anything that runs parallel to these finished edges, these lines, um, that is your straight grain. So it's the one that has the least amount of stretch Versus your cross grain, which has a little bit of stretch Can't really see on here. Well, you kind of can and then your bias which has the most amount of stretch So it just really means where the direction of the threads specific threads are going So just make sure to have this parallel this line facing parallel to this line. All right, cool So here is completely optional. Um, I did clean up the edges with the ruler because uh, I got shaky hands. And yeah, so if you want to use a ruler just to clean up the edges, feel free to do so. But again, it's completely optional. All right, y'all. So we have the patterns transferred. And I also made sure to transfer the labels. And also if I needed to cut two pieces um, so that I know what goes with what. So it's very helpful just to transfer the word and the verbiage. And yeah, let's cut these babies out. So now that we have our patterns all cut out, I went ahead and marked a um, centimeter of seam allowance, which I just followed the directions, y'all. So it's, it calls for a centimeter. I don't know if, I don't wanna give you the wrong information in inches, but I would just say, use the one centimeter on your ruler to mark all around the um, edges that are going to be sewn. So some of them are on the full, so you don't have to worry about that, but I just went ahead and did all the edges. Um, and now we're gonna go ahead and put things together. We're gonna start with the straps because that's what the directions say, so I'm just gonna do that. And yeah, we're gonna fold them in half and then sew along one centimeter um, seam allowance, which I haven't marked yet, but I'll show you that in three, two. So we have here everything pinned along the edges that need to be sewn first. Um, so this is one centimeter in from the raw edge, um, and those are the straps, and then this is the back panel, and then the back facing panel. So I'm gonna go ahead and just sew along these lines. So this handy dandy little tool you see here is a safety pin connected to some really long ribbon. And we're gonna use this to turn our um, straps right sides out so i'm just hooking it to one side of the strap and then carefully and meticulously i'm going to stuff the the head of the safety pin into the strap so that i can funnel it through the strap and pull it and make sure the strap is right sides out so you see i'm just maneuvering it it's a little tough to get it in there at first but then once you got it 
it just slides like this and it looks nice and neat look at that y'all nice all right y'all so next we're gonna go ahead and sew the facing back panel and then we're also going to sew the back panel on here too so that we can open those guys up and then sew it to the front panels i highly recommend not sewing with one hand but you know we reckless tonight so let's see what happens oh shit Okay, all right. This is not as easy as I thought it would be. All right, but we making it though. So I actually didn't realize I have to transfer uh, the rest of the seam allowance. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. But I just wanted to show y'all quickly what you're gonna do next. So you're just gonna go ahead and attach the front facing panel um, and the back facing panel onto one another like so. We might have a boo boo y'all. I don't know what happened. I don't know what I did. I don't know. But we're just gonna see what happens. So funny story, I accidentally sewed on the wrong side. Um, you're supposed to sew on this side right here. And for this guy, it's on the deeper side. So yeah, I'm just gonna redo these. I took out the seams already. So I'm just gonna go ahead and sew along the, the lower dip and then the lower dip over here on the side. And then we're gonna do what we're gonna do. Okay, so I went ahead and redid the stitching and stitched in the right place and then now i'm gonna go ahead and just sew down the lines so now we have everything sewn up along the sides and as you can see i went ahead and um, flipped the back and front facing panels right sides out and then i have my um, larger pieces down here which are going to be wrong sides out so that when you put them inside of each other the right sides are touching and then we're gonna flip them as you'll see later. But yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and attach them in this way. So right sides out for the smaller pieces, wrong sides out for the larger pieces. So you'll see what I mean in just a sec. All right, y'all, so this is what it looks like after you finish pinning. Just went ahead and did all of that. And before you go ahead and sew, you wanna attach the straps. Well, we're gonna actually crisscross them. So we're gonna have the straps coming from the bottom inside, that makes sense. So they're gonna be on the inside of these two layers. And then we're gonna crisscross like this. The first part, let's get this one done and then we'll do the next part. I wanna make sure that this makes as much sense as possible. So I'm taking one strap and then I'm going to just um, put that in between the back piece facing back piece and the main back piece. So in between those two layers, as you can see right here, I'm just gonna undo two of the pins and then I'm going to take my strap out, just a little bit of excess hanging out and then I'll repin that to secure that in place. And now I'm gonna take the strap that we just did and crisscross that with the next strap. So I'm just moving that diagonally and then I'm taking my other strap and I'm gonna do the same exact thing to the other side. So just take the pins out and pull the strap through the two layers. And this is the back of the, of the top. So I recommend starting with the back and then, I don't, I feel like it doesn't actually matter, but I just started with the back because that's what the direction said. <laughs> and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna carry the straps crisscrossed over to the front. So this is kind of tricky, um, but just again, do one strap at a time. So I'm taking one strap and then I'm carrying that through the two layers, the facing, the front facing and the main front panel. And then I'm gonna just do the same thing where I take off the pins and then just um, attach the strap that way. So I'm just making sure that they, they're facing the way I want them to because they were kind of twisty. Um, so make sure they are aligned the way you want them to be. And then as you see here, I'm taking off the pins and just pulling my strap through. And then you're just going to repeat to the other side and this is how it should all look once you're finished and then you're just going to go ahead and sew all around and you're pretty much 
95, 85% done. Wow, that went real quick. <laughs> You're pretty much 85% done once you do this part. So I, you can do it like one at a time if you want, but I just wanted to get this joint over with. So, <laughs> so I went ahead and just did both straps. So the next part I'm doing is I'm gonna go ahead and um, hem the edges, the bottom edge of the top. So I'm just doing a, a rolled hem or like a double hem. So folding over once and then folding over again, and then we're just going to sew all of that in place. And that's how it should look once you're done. Now before we turn it right sides out, we're gonna go ahead and burn the edges. This is completely optional and please y'all practice all the safety when you're using fire. Um, you can also sew this part if you don't feel comfortable burning the edges, but I'm way too lazy to sew again. Um, so I just melt the edges so that we can get that over with. Um, and then I went ahead and ironed everything on the lowest setting, the silk setting. And this is what it looked like. Y'all, I am in love with this top so much. Like, I am so happy it came together. It's like my favorite color, everything, just everything about it is just so sleek, so sexy. And I hope that you all enjoyed this. Um, definitely leave some comments down below as to what you thought. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see y'all in my next video. Bye. Hey, y'all. So, ooh, the sun. Oh, okay, sun. Hey y'all, so I'm back. Uh, I wanted to come on here real quick to actually introduce a challenge that I would love for um, as many people or whoever wants to participate to participate in. And this is a DIY um, around the house, something that you could do around the house because I know these are crazy times and people need stuff to do. So I want you all to get creative with me. So essentially the challenge is you have to find something around your house. It could be old clothing, it could be curtains, it could be some random supplies that you have and make something out of it. And I want to post it in my next video, uh, featured in my next video, as well as on my Instagram story. Um, so you have to use the hashtag bad bitty DIY. I just came up with that y'all. So use the hashtag bad bitty DIY. That's B-A-D-B-I-T-T-Y DIY. Yeah. <laughs> so, so use that hashtag and I'll just put it right here just in case I spelled it wrong because my brain's not working right now. But yeah, I hope everyone participates because I really want to see what everyone comes up with because I know y'all creative. So definitely use the hashtag and I can't wait to see you in my next video. Bye.